Hey guys, so in today's episode, uh, I just thought I would show you guys how I do the oil change. This is actually gonna be the first time I do the oil change. Um, and I guess we can kind of learn together. So I saw a lot of videos on YouTube that just basically only show like in depth, um, like tutorials of how to do things. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, this like whole long one uh, really showing you, you know, exactly what to do. And then I might even make like a short, just so um, it's out there, like a YouTube short, just really like highlighting the, the key points for those who actually uh, work on motorcycles and know what they're doing. So um, also I don't have my, uh, a lot of my GoPro gear. I'm just holding my GoPro with one hand. So it might be a little interesting, but um, this is kind of unplanned. So I actually went to my uh, dealership I, I had the bike in the shop for about five days and they still couldn't uh, finish the oil change. And it was kind of my first uh, time dealing with service, but instead of waiting longer, and um, actually it cost, it was gonna cost me $140. So yeah, decided to do it myself. So I guess let's get to it. I went out and got uh, most of this stuff actually. I already had the tools, but I didn't have a drip pan. Um, I decided to get, towels and whatnot because i'm gonna need them gloves and you know the funnel uh as far as the oil goes uh according to the manual it said uh 10w30 is the best brand no idea this is my first actual oil change i've never even done an oil change on a car before so uh yeah all right so putting this under here uh this is actually where the no, it's not. I'm an idiot. Damn, do I actually have to put the center stand on? Hmm, thank God I can edit. All right, so you do actually have to have the center stand down. Um, this guy is actually where, uh, that's the oil plug there. And, yep, you live your life. Let's glove up. We actually use a 17 millimeter uh, for this guy here. I got a ex uh, six inch extension to, uh, to help my reach. So it's actually, this has my thing here. That is not, Oh, that's what the 12 is for. All right, correction. This is actually for the uh, oil filter, which is on the other side of the machine. And then this bad boy, the 12 inch, I was getting, aggravated because I actually I gra accidentally grabbed a half inch socket oh like a glove all right bet. first oil change yep and that is tragic definitely don't have to do that but this oil is pretty pretty dark in here so I figured I'd just get the rest hopefully put this back on here I'm gonna hand tighten it first it really wasn't on here uh, very tight either just make sure it's snug all right so now that that is good and this part today was not not super planned out but sort of planned out I knew I was gonna do the oil change myself but I do have to drive, I think, 30 to 40 miles back home. And so instead of um, doing it there, I decided to save the miles because I knew my oil needed to be changed pretty bad. And this is actually, I just reminded myself, hopefully you can see what's, what's happening here. Um, so this is actually spring-loaded. Hopefully this doesn't freaking fly out. Yeah, it is leaking oil. Hopefully a lot doesn't come out of here. And this just wiggles out. Hello? 
So I don't know if you can see that. There's just a little lint and stuff in here. I guess you could um, rinse this off with like WD-40 or braking fluid, brake fluid. But there's actually not a lot of crud on mine, so I'm not entirely worried about it. I'm just gonna put this boy back. This is that spring I mentioned. This goes in here and this bad boy just goes in here. And then I'm gonna start with hand tightening it. And then again, this isn't uh, supposed to be super freaking tight in there. You know, you don't need an impact drill or anything like that. And I'll just make sure this is snug. Cool. One thing I didn't do actually was uh, take this out. This is the dipstick. Um, hello? Oh, that's a turn. Make us, makes a little sense. This is the dipstick here. This is where the oil goes in. So I'm gonna put this bad boy in here. And they say about 800 milliliters. There goes nothing. This right there is where they say to stop. If you actually know uh, motorcycles and um, you know how to how to do this stuff like the back of your hand, you know I'd love to I'd love to hear about it in the comments of how uh, much of a scrub I am because this is uh, definitely my first time doing any sort of engine work. <laughs> Put the dipstick back in here. Awesome. All right. And that should be it. Cool. I think it's that easy. Uh, <laughs> let us... It's running. We'll just let this cycle for a minute. Kind of get it flowing. Um, for the oil... Uh, filter, uh, which is this guy here, um, on the kickstand side of the bike, you'll need the 17 millimeter, and then for the actual um, oil oil plug, which is here, uh, you need a, a 12 millimeter. Yeah, fairly simple. I'm interested to see how this video goes because I'm uh, not very good at tutorials, clearly, but there's a first for everything. Yeah, I appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully this was uh, semi-helpful. Um, probably not, but let me know if this was semi-helpful. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess we will see you in uh, the next video. Peace.